time in the Philippines here. I just wanted to do a quick one um, talking about visas. Now, visas for foreigners coming to the Philippines, coming to two classes, you either get an automatic visa on arrival or you have to apply for a visa in advance. And most of us, certainly from the UK, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, most much of the world, you have to check. You just get a visa on arrival and you get a month the, the immigration guy will say or girl will say how long do you want to stay you just tell them a month and they'll give you the automatic month now i just updated my extended mine so quickly run down for you what you have to do in any major town there will be a, a branch office of the bureau of immigration so right hi rod fleming the philippines here and I want to do a quick video about visas and visa extensions for people in the Philippines, staying in the Philippines. Visa, Philippines visa fall into two categories. Those for people from countries which don't require a visa in advance and people from countries which do. And if you come in the former, if you don't require, uh, sorry that's the dog, if you don't require a visa in advance then you just get an automatic tourist visa at the airport. The person will ask you whether you, how long you want to stay, you just say a month. But don't worry if you're only booked to stay for two weeks, just say a month, get it out of the way. Now, after one month, it's quite easy to extend. Um, different offices do it slightly differently, but I've been using this time, I've been using the branch office in Angeles, which is in the ground floor of Marquee Mall in Balabago. Very easy to get to. And because it's not in a government building, you don't have to wear anything special. You can just go in your ordinary slumming around the town uh, clothes. If in some branch offices which are in government buildings or the main office of the Bureau of Immigration you have to wear close toes shoes a proper shirt and long pants right puts government building got to show respect anyway all you have to do is take along your passport and fill in a very small half a uh, half of one side of A4 piece of paper form with your current address how long you want to stay basically your name and passport number on it and pay them some money and for the first extension which uh, took me to 28th of January it cost me they, they can't hide, happily they write it all on here so it's quite easy to work it out the first one was 2130 pesos right and then I extended for that's extended me for one month right that took me from the 30th of uh, December up to 28th January now my next one if you extend after two months, you have to get a thing called an ACR, which is um, an Alien Certificate of Registration. Now, as far as I can see, all this is good for is getting you, um, if you happen to be a senior citizen or over 60, is getting you a discount on the bus. That's it there. You, If you have this, I have to say, you don't have to carry your passport, right? Um, Filipino officials in all capacities will accept that instead of your passport so you leave your passport locked up in the house like I do. Now for that you will be asked uh, and uh, the, the next month sorry two months the next two months you will be asked the princely sum of 5,711 pesos okay the, that took me up to the 28th of March and then for the next two months uh, which is straightforward you don't have to any extra just a, a little bit of paper to fill in that cost me 1,930 and then the next one took me over the six months and because of that I had to get, um, you don't actually get anything, but you get um, a temporary certificate of residence, which is not even a piece of paper, it's just what it is. And that cost me um, 3,340 pesos, but I am assured by the nice people at VI that the next one will be much cheaper back down at 1930. So, for eight months residence in the Philippines, it's cost me 13,100 pesos, more or less, which is around about $260 for eight months, about 200 quid. Working on that, it's going to be about 250 pounds for a year. Um, you can stay in the Philippines for up to 36 months, just extending like that with no problem. The one thing is that if you do extend over six months, and it's actually, they put a very nice stamp in my passport here, right at the top there, you'll see it, um, which is a reminder that I am required to secure immigration clearance certificate 
before I depart. That will cost 500 pesos. You hear different information here. It can still be done at the airport on the way out, as far as I know. Some people have been saying that you have to do this at a, a BI branch office, like where you get this. But others, have, um, whom I trust, have gone straight to the airport, got their certificate there. It takes about 15 minutes at the airport. It takes somewhat longer at the BI because, you know, things go slowly at the BI. But for people coming to the Philippines, that's quite important. In the Philippines, in general terms, as far as visas and staying in the Philippines are concerned, it's much more friendly to foreigners than other uh, countries in Southeast Asia. You don't have this ridiculous two-month visa run that you'll have to do in Thailand where you have to leave the country and then come back in. Also applies in Vietnam, as far as I know, Cambodia. So, for as a, a, base to, a place to base yourself in, if you're exploring Southeast Asia, this actually help, makes the Philippines much more friendly. Well worth considering. But there, that's the, the rough breakdown there. Like I say, 13,000 pesos, give or take, for eight months. So, enjoy your time in the Philippines. I'm going off to get a haircut now, so catch you later. Bye. Bye again, Rod Fleming. As you can see, I've had the haircut now. BI, um, that's Bureau of Immigration Officials here in the Philippines, they're extremely nice people. They're trained to be polite, they're patient, they're extremely highly educated, they're all graduates, then they do a um, civil service course, then they have to pass the civil service entry exam, and that's before they start their actual training for specifically Bureau of, Bureau of Immigration duties. What that means is that there's a good chance they're more educated than you are, and there's also, an, it's absolutely certain that they know the Filipino law much better than you do. Do not get shirty with them. Don't lose your rag. Stay patient at all times. Yes, sometimes things can take quite a long time to do. Don't worry about it. Just go with the flow. If you have to travel a long way to get to the BI, then I suggest you pay a little bit of extra, I think it's about 500 pesos, I never do it, um, and get an what's called an express lane fee, which will ensure that all your paperwork is processed on the same day. If you don't do that, if you go through the regular, what's called the regular lane, then certainly here in Balabago, you, the, pr the process is that you hand in your form with the application and your passport, um, you come back the next day and you pay whatever it's going to be for that one. Um, and then you'll take your passport and the application away. And in three days, three working days, it's ready for you. What actually happens is that in that first day, they check that you don't have a ban against you, right? You don't have a strike against you. You're not being marked down as a um, persona non grata uh, and or you've been doing bad things and you've been told you're not going to get back in, which can happen to you if you get caught in criminal activity. So they've checked your record, there's nothing on your name, that means you go back, they'll take your money at that point. You know, if they take your money, you're, going to, you're okay, your visa's fine. And the second part, the, the several working days, two working days, it's actually the third day you get it, um, that's just them producing the stamps and sticking them in the, the, the passport. It's just bureaucracy. If you're not in a hurry, do it that way. It's very, very relaxed. Uh, certainly here in Balabago, you just walk into uh, well, the way I do it is you walk into Marquee Mall, do whatever you have to do, fill in the form. You can take the home, forms home and fill them in at home and just hand them in with your passport. Pay the money. There's n very rarely a long queue. And the third one is you just collect from the, the, the release window your, your passport. And then I or ordinarily go to Jerry's Grill and have a couple of cocktails, you know. Hassle-free. When I was in... Um, Manila, I used to do the processing at the Makati branch office, which is in a government building. So remember, you, if you go there, you're going to have to wear close toed shoes, long trousers, and a, a sleeved shirt. None of this slobbing around in the beachwear. Uh, otherwise, they just simply won't let you in. And I have seen people being refused, so it's not a joke. You know, that's quite serious. You have to take these things seriously. Um, there, I would normally pay the express line because getting to that place is, is, is murder unless you actually live right on the doorstep in, in, in Makati. Just because getting around Manila is a pain in the neck. Um, be patient and pleasant, cordial at all times and you'll find that the Filipinos will be too. Almost always, things just happen in the good time that the Filipino system provides for them. There's no point in rushing them. If you, rush, you want to rush a job, you pay the rush fee. 
Simple as that. You'll get your stuff back in the same day. If there is a problem, there's no point in shouting at the BI people. That can get you in a lot of trouble, including getting a strike against you so that when you leave, you can't come back in. Just be patient and explain your case politely so that they understand. They all speak good English. If you really don't think you're getting anywhere with the person you're dealing with, and I have never seen anyone have this problem, then politely ask to see the, the office manager or, his, or that person's superior. Just be really, really cool. Remember that these are government officials. If you disrespect or get shirty with or lose your rag or start shouting at a BI official, you're disrespecting the state and government of the Philippines. Okay? And they don't like it. They can get you banned from the country just for doing that. Okay? Please just be respectful and you will not have problems with them. There's due process. The Philippines runs according to constitutional law. You won't have problems if you stick with the laws and you're polite. So anyway, that's that for, um, for visas. It's a simple thing here. Um, you can stay up to 36 months, as I say, and it's, it's just not an issue. Some foreigners I hear occasionally, I don't really talk to foreigners that much, but I occasionally hear them complaining about the amount of money they have to spend on visas. Well, I'll tell you this. It's a bloody sight easier just to go along to the branch office every two months and pay a little bit of cash than it is to fly out of the country and fly back again. There's that, you know. And it's also a lot more economical. And secondly, because remember, the Philippines is an island. You can't just take a bus to the border and come back. You've got to fly out. And secondly, you're living in the Philippines and you're not paying tax. Most of us aren't anyway. Um, if you have a business that's operating in a foreign country, the Philippines don't ask you for tax. They're assuming that you're taxed at home and that's it. They won't ask you for uh, earnings or that in businesses that are located overseas. They're only interested in tax on earnings that occur in the Philippines, right? So you're here, you're not paying for the roads, you're not paying for the street lights, such as they are. You're not paying for the, uh, the emergency services that you might need to use. Paying a contributing a little bit in the form of uh, visa extension fees, really, don't be silly, don't grudge it. it it's nothing, it's sweetie money, 250 quid a year. It's, it's nothing, you know? Okay, I'm going now. Um, I think I'll have another coffee. Sam's out uh, uh, having a medical checkup. She's fine, but she just needs a little checkup. And I'll see you later. Bye, bye, bye.